What is it that you're doing uh, on a day-to-day basis? So I'm the director of the MSRC and, and basically the team that takes all the reports that come in from any of the researchers that have uh, found a vulnerability in a Microsoft product and uh, my team's the team that figures out you know, the right way to manage that risk, the right way to communicate it to customers. We work really closely with our engineering team that basically sort of emulates that hacker threat. And then uh, the product teams, they actually need to fix the code itself to yeah. try to figure out if okay, this is the right way to solve this problem. Then in terms of uh, how you work with you know that product team and the researchers, certainly there's a lot of researchers, both at Microsoft, I know you guys help uh, conference, so you do Blue Hat yep. and other things. Um, how do you actually get those reports? Because I also know that Microsoft doesn't pay for research. Sure. You, you don't pay for exploits, as it were. No, uh, yeah, we really don't you know, pay for bugs. We do pay for security work on occasion, so there's a... Uh an incredibly diverse and talented group of, uh, of folks that make up the security research community. So in the MSRC reports, we work with them directly, try and understand the issue they've reported, keep them in close contact while we figure out the right way to solve it. Uh, and then we do a public acknowledgement saying, you know, thanks for working with us as we're trying to find a way to protect customers. Uh, there's other engagements, you know, like we talked about Blue Hat. So yeah. we're bringing the researchers in to Microsoft, making them part of our developer community so, they, so our developers can see the unique perspective they have on, on you know, the ways to make products work in ways they were never intended. Now, in terms of the, the big thing here, obviously you had an out-of-band uh, release. There's some sort of presentation tomorrow, uh, yeah. something about kill bits or the other. Um, certainly I know that uh, you're aware of what's going on. Are there any surprises uh, from any uh, vendors, any researchers that you expect to see over the next couple of days? Or do all these people that come talk to you, talk, talk to you Microsoft first and say, hey, look, this is what you're doing, and you say thank you very much, and, yeah, and I mean, you go from there? We really work hard to make sure that they, the researchers know we're here, we're listening, and that we'll work with them with whatever they find. Even the issue that got released out of band today, the researchers that found it, we kept in close contact throughout the entire process up until it's going to be after this release. The, uh, the themes I think you're going to see coming out of all the researchers are attacks are getting more complex, the vulnerabilities are more complex. The issue that we released updates for today are an example of that. And what it's going to take to solve them in the industry, and this is what we're going to hear from customers, is vendors working together to come up with a good, solid solution, sharing information and then rolling out updates that just makes sense for customers. Well, I think, sorry, I think that, um, you know, the kill bit as a security function is still a very important security function when you're dealing with ActiveX controls and sort of interoperable uh, solutions. But the, the right way to solve any software problem is going to be within the code itself. And so uh, the, the same practices that we have around SDL, the same practices we have around secure development uh, will help mitigate you know, future threats beyond just using the kill bit. But the other thing is, where you can't eliminate all possible vulnerabilities and all possible parts of software, you can work to mitigate it. And one of the things you've seen in Microsoft products, you know, as the SDL has matured, is mitigations that make attacks, even if a vulnerability does exist, harder to carry out. And those exist, you know, in Windows Vista there are some big ones, IE8 has some more, sure. and we'll continue to do that.